Hello everybody, this is me, Super Monarch and Jayo, and welcome to another episode of eBay Finds. And in this episode, we're going to be taking a look at McDonald's, the Super Mario Bros. movie, Happy Meal toy set um, that came out this year and a little bit late of last year, I believe in December or something. Um, I don't really remember. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to be taking a look at these eight toys and I'm very much looking forward to them because this is the set that I've actually, that I've, you know, been wanting ever since it came out. You know, uh, McDonald's and on the other side of the country, oh, uh, not country, globe, there we go. Um, we got these, um, this is just one of them. These little cardboard cutouts of the characters and, and you know, they, they label them as toys. And honestly, they're fine, but I like the, I like the plastic ones better. You know, the ones that we get, the ones that you get in America <laughs> and whatnot. So uh, yeah, I unfortunately had to miss these out because again, I don't live in the US anymore. And, uh, and I had to, you know, stick with this. <laughs> so, yeah, I had to find them on eBay for 18 bucks, which I think is a pretty good set. Pretty good price for the set. Um, you know, $2, $2 and something each for them. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, without further ado, let's just get into it with the number one being Jumping Mario. Um, so, here's, a, here's the packaging. And, and uh, here's the thing. I've already, like, cut open the top of these just so I can make this easier on myself and uh, yeah so uh, we'll put this back here for now probably just lay on the ground and here is jumping Mario which you know he doesn't really jump he sort of just does this which I will admit it can get a little bit addicting for some reason I don't know why but yeah um, he, Mario's coming out of a pipe here so or jumping out of a pipe and I mean it's a pretty cool looking statue or figure. Um, I really do love it. Um, besides this little paint mishap. Probably can't see it. There we go. But uh, yeah, I mean overall, Mario looks pretty good. He looks fine. Looks like himself from the movie. The wall pipe, also cool. And uh, yeah, just a pretty decent toy. Now what's interesting is that this is actually sort of like a variant of another Jump Mario come, jumping out of a wood pipe toy that was released in, I think in like in, in I think in like the UK or whatnot way back then. So uh, yeah, I would have to do more research on that. But yeah, I mean you know it's cool and pretty addicting. <laughs> Put you back there. Next up here we have is the Toad Cart, which is number two in the set, and uh, he's gonna be a different than this guy right here, and you're, and you're gonna find out why later on. So. Taking him out, um, in terms of the vehicle, there's not really much going on here. No, like, cool designs or whatnot. No stickers that you can put on. Just a little toy, like, just like a little, like, mini toy truck-like thing. Here's Toad. Probably can't really see him that well. Uh, I mean, you can sort of move his head just a little bit, but not too much. Um, the wheels do move, so, uh... You could make him wool. And this is going to be important too because uh, when we get to this guy, we're going to compare this guy to not only him, to, to Toad, but his counterpart. So yeah, <laughs> I, I, overall, it's just, it just a neat little toy. Not that much going on here. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> That's really all I have to say. Next up here we have is Flashlight Luigi, number three in the set. And you know he does, and this toy doesn't really do much. Um, all you really do is just turn this little knob, or take this and just push him, <laughs> make him turn left. At least from this point of view. And uh, yeah, besides that, I mean it's just Luigi with the flashlight. Uh, pretty cool looking like little figurine. Um, Honestly, kind of sucks that this is the only function that Luigi has. But hey, I guess for someone that barely got any screen time, I guess that's not really anything new. So yeah, I'm gonna put you back there. Oh, okay, he actually stood up. <laughs> cool. Next up here we have is Spinning Peach, number four on the set, and we take her out. And overall, she looks she, she looks fine. I know some people say the face is a little bit creepy. I think it's fine, um, but again, not really much going on with this toy, other than it's just a cool little figure, 
Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll just show you the top. And the bottom here has, like, this little circle thing. And, obviously, as the name of the toy implies, she spins, uh, although not really well, to be honest. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Overall, neat, neat little toy for what it is. But could do better. Okay, number five. We have Mario Talk. And man, oh man, I, I honestly wonder how McDonald's messed this up so bad. I really, really do wonder. So, unlike the Toad Talk, this toy doesn't have actual, well, it has wheels, but they don't actually move. And why is that? Because the, the move function thing is this little red ball at the bottom that I have no idea what it is for. Heck, even the instructions don't even say much. It's just Mario and his car. Not only that, but you know, again, just like the toad car, you know, this, this vehicle is lacking design. You can see the M, but not really good. Um, miss paint, oh, I, I wouldn't say miss paint is obviously this is what they t intended. Uh, but definitely not the color that these little, I don't even know what you call them. Oh, I believe this little, actually, you know what? Let me compare this to uh, the Hot Wheels one. So take a look at the Hot Wheels one. Uh, you can obviously tell there's some difference <laughs> in how it looks. And uh, yeah, it's basically just super, super basic. Not really much going on. Pretty lazy, I would say. And uh, yeah, unlike this little guy where he can, where the wheels move, this one doesn't. So uh, yeah, besides Mario being painted pretty well, that's, uh, sorry, I had to do a little bump there. Uh, besides Mario looking pretty decent, um, this one doesn't really do much. Besides spin or whatever. But yeah, all because of this stupid ball that McDonald's made for some real de decision, real reason. Probably the, probably the lamest one. <laughs> But I, but I like it because it's Mario. Next up here we have is number 6, aka Bell Donkey Kong. Now, honestly, I don't know why this is called that because Donkey Kong doesn't really do much with this bell in the toy. Um, in the movie, he does throw the bells. But, uh, yeah, you spin this little wheel back here. Oh. <laughs> and he moves his arm. Or his, uh, what is it? Right arm? Yeah. Some people say it's, it's like a little smash reference to him writing up his punch, but honestly, it, it's whatever, they you know. It would have been cool if this was like a little bell launcher, because, I mean, if, it's, if you're going to call it Bell Donkey Kong, oh, oh, I almost dropped it. You might as well do something with the bell besides him writing up his fist. But, I mean, overall, pretty cool the DK design, little figure. Just wish they did more with it, because, you know. It's Donkey Kong. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna put you back there. Next up here we have is number 7, a.k.a. Fire Breathing Bowser. And this one is, honestly, another lame one, but not as bad as Mario Kart back there. Um, so, here's Bowser. Pretty neat. But, you know, he is missing a lot of details, like the, like the spiny shells are not painted. Um... Stomach is not really painted well, you know. When you compare it to like previous Bowser toys that were that were in McDonald's Happy Meal toys sets, um, yeah, this one obviously isn't the best in terms of paint and also functionality. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Now what you do here is that you have this little file thing and you want to put it in Bowser's mouth, all the way down. And it's weird because it doesn't like snap for some reason, so you just have to like take for what it takes its world. On the back here you see this little spinning thing and when you do that, the fire spins. Yay! It's not it's not like the Bowser from I believe 2017 where he shoots the fire out of his mouth by pressing a button on the back. Oh, it, it was actually on his tail, I believe. But uh, yeah, honestly that's just pretty much it. Pretty lame. But not as bad as again as Mario thought. And last but not least, we have Spinning Lumale, or Lumale. I, I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, Lumale, that's what I'm gonna call it. Um, but yeah, 
So it's just this blue cat, blue luma that you know takes up. Um, that actually does have a few lines in the Mori movie. Um, I, I, I really won't say much just because I don't really <laughs> want to. Um, but yeah, here we have this blue luma or luma Lee, and they're on this bridge, which is quite interesting because in the movie, luma Lee is stuck behind or luma Lay, whatever, is stuck behind a cage. I don't know where this bridge comes from. Maybe an earlier version of the film, but who knows? Um, you take this little real thing and you spin it, and normally spins, which normally does in the in the movie. So hey, that's accurate at least. <laughs> but uh, yeah, honestly, again, not that much. You know, just a little something to get your kids addicted to. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for this. Um, I'm just happy to have this set, honestly, even if it's a bit lackluster. It's a lot better than this. So yeah, I would take it any other day of the week. And that'll be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick uh, little um, eBay finds video. Uh, I know I did because, again, I this is a set that I've been wanting ever since it came out. And uh, yeah, <laughs> and, like, trying to find a good price for these was so damn hard. Because everyone was pricing these for like 30 bucks, 40 bucks, 50 it was just exhausting, man. And uh, so yeah, I'm just happy to have them and add it to my collection. And hopefully the next time Madonna's does another Mario set, it'll be a lot better in terms of functionality. Because in terms of design, they're pretty good, I would say. But their functions are weak, you know? They're not really good toys. So yeah, that's it for me, guys. If you enjoyed, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will see you all in the next video. This is Simple Monitor J signing out.